And we're live. Todd Schroth here, Agents Who Win, with uh, my partner, Danny Betancourt, Daniel Betancourt. What's up? How's it going, everybody? So we, we had a, a Mr. Nick Krem with Content Cards in our office uh, last week, and he was going over what's the importance of video. Obviously, we're doing a lot of that here. And doing it on your Facebook page to engage more versus just posting random comments, how video can help yeah. elevate your business. And I've seen some success stories of other agents in some of our Facebook groups who have like literally doubled their business just posting video about real estate or about themselves, about their day. Um, it was great to see on my, one of my team members after the video was over or after the meeting was over, he was showing houses and it was about, uh, and of course we got Mr. Nick Krim on, on, on here. Awesome. Thanks for the fire kid. Um, about one of his buyers, the seller had left for lunch and the buyer decided to take a piece of the frozen pizza that he had cooked and, you know, hey, let's have lunch on the showings. So it's just posting little videos about like, you know, about that out there. So, Danny, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Nick, Nick Krem brought some amazing energy to the room. Uh, he did an awesome job giving all kinds of anecdotes, got everybody fired up to do more Facebook lives. Uh, he said he's going to be working on, on breaking his record of nine lives in a day. So... <laughs> Uh, that that was pretty impressive, and I went out and did a live right after that. Like my next appointment after that, I was really just going to get a lockbox, but I, uh, <laughs> I did a Facebook live because I had I had some fire lit under me by by Nick Krem. So thanks for that awesome presentation, Nick. You know, and it's the, the lives come down to a couple things. What's the goal with the video, and you know, or you know, one it's you got to figure out what the video is going to be, and then what's the goal behind it. And you know you you want to do it daily at least, so it's it's consistent, so people will start to see you. Because Facebook will obviously ask you, do you want to be notified every time Todd goes live? And if you hit yes, then it will start to notify you a lot more often. Um, talk about the buying process, the listing process. Yeah, doing those milestone videos. That's that's something that um, I've done in the past. I think it's it's something that you want to just keep doing on a regular basis. Um, Lawrence, you know, the lender came in after the meeting and we were talking about that also, something that we see some lenders doing, but a lot of people really want to create one of the, you know, milestone videos for throughout the process. So when you're working with a buyer and your offer gets accepted, you know, you can send out a celebratory video uh, congratulating them on the accepted offer and then explaining the following steps to them. It's also something that you can input into your CRM as an automated process. Yeah. Um, and it's just something that makes, you know, it comes off as showing off your process as a polished one. Well, now when you do the milestone videos, I think it's great. Cause it's like, you know, what are the four milestones in the, in, in, in the real estate transaction? One is getting your contract accepted two the inspections, three, the appraisal for your clear to close going to closing. So if you right. hit videos during those processes, like, you know, just shooting that to the buyer, hey, everything looks good, blah, 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 you know, and then, you know, you get the appraisal, everything's good on the appraisal. We're going forward. Hey guys, guess what? Just got word from the lender. We're clear to close. Excited to see you Tuesday at three o'clock at the um, at the closing. Right, and if, if you set that kind of precedence throughout the transaction, the customer is probably going to miss it after you close. Maybe that's what we're <laughs> thinking, but they'll they'll it'll be cool when they get automated videos after the closing, like thirty days later, saying, "Hey, how's it going? How's the house treating you? How are your plans coming along?" And you know, even a year later, wishing them a happy anniversary on the purchase of their home. Those milestone videos can go a long way. One of our team members, he does a bunch of videos during the process, and he was at a um, uh, one of the client's parties, and it was for a bunch of nurses and doctors. And he they introduced him as the video realtor. So mm -hmm. you know, he's already got a brand name as the video realtor, and it's just and he's making it personal. Some of the videos are with him and his dog driving in the car, driving with his daughter to school. You know, now I'm, I'm going to go buy one of those mounts from my, my, my car window so I can do those because it's why not pop live while I'm driving down Sand Lake Road? It's a three mile drive and if, you know, I can knock out a quick couple minutes and just something there. You don't have to put much thought into it. It's just talking as you're normally out there. Right. Now, I, I've got to buy one of those suction cup things and a Tesla just so I can do these, <laughs> so I can do these videos. <laughs> I'm going to stick to my truck, but I'll keep it in the Tesla. <laughs> Be sure to have on your seatbelt. Nick talked about yes. that. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So you have like nine lives, but nine regular lives, nine Facebook lives. <laughs> That's awesome. So, you know, one of the three things you talked about with the video is you want to entertain, educate, and execute. Obviously, you want to entertain with the video. We're having a good time right now. You want to educate during the video. 
give them an item of value of whether it's, you know, this is what rates are doing, this is what the inventory looks like, and then execute. For me, execution is just hitting the go live. Yeah. Yeah, execution, uh, uh, like we were talking about during during the event, uh, a lot of people get analysis paralysis. They feel like, oh, you know, let me Google, like, when's the absolute best time to do a Facebook Live? And, and it's really just kind of like something that we're doing to either put it off or, you know, it's just one more reason, one more hurdle to jump through. So like what you said, just push live and go. Um, on the first pillar that you mentioned, uh, entertain, I thought it was cool what Nick was talking about, like having having a background that is interesting, um, doing yes. the video in a place of interest, like a popular a popular place of interest in the town that you live or that you're visiting. Just doing a video with that in the background gets people's attention a little bit more than you know, just like a, a TV monitor behind you. So he did a, a, vi a live video on the way to the office for the meeting, and he had gotten here early, so he's like, I'm just gonna go drive some neighborhoods. But he's driving around a really nice neighborhood, and I'm gonna try. I want to try and figure out which one it was. But it was like so you you drive around somewhere that's got a decent area. People are engaged to where it's at. You know, if you're being stationary with your videos, you want to tag the city that it's in. Yeah. Or you know, and it's obviously we've got four corners right here. So I'm gonna each week I'm gonna tag a different city. Um, the what was it? I was gonna say something else to that. Uh, the videos themselves. You know, if if you worried about the time. When you're going to send it, just go live at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. or 4 p.m. or whatever. But you can always re-engage that video by dropping, if someone's responding to it, respond mm -hmm. back to them later in the day so it helps keep that content fresh. And the other part yeah. was – go ahead. No, he gave us a lot of good pointers on just keeping, keeping the momentum on your social media posts. So it's really awesome that you were able to record the entire event and um, you know, it, it'll. We, I'm sure we can get a bunch more nuggets just by rewatching it and taking some notes. One of the cool things that he talked about is like whenever you have an idea of like, hey, you're you're talking with someone and it sparks an idea. Hey, that'd be a cool video to make. Text it to yourself, and you know, you're keeping a log of uh, cool video ideas. I do that also using my my notes app. Um, yeah. You know, just or you, some, sometimes you can just sit for ten minutes and and think about video ideas and other times you can just be out and about and something hit you or even like a cool background, uh, a cool background for a video. So what he was saying was he, since he has this log always with him when he's in a place where he's thinking, Hey, this is a cool background right now, a cool backdrop. I should make a video here. He can just go to his log and look up, you know, what's one of these items that I can make a video <laughs> about. I have a log right here. So that's, um, that's some, some, some pretty clever stuff he was talking about. So, and then there's, you know, you're creating a brand when you're doing videos. So there's there's three pillars to your, when you're doing your videos about creating the brand. One is your, we're realtors. So we want to create a real estate brand that's out there. Right. We want to talk about some, you know, a lot of things real estate. Second is our personal growth, you know, how we're achieving our goals in our life and our business. And then the next is your niche. What is your niche with the video is going to be? Or if you have a business niche, first time buyers, whatever, um, you know, talk about that a lot as along with the process because you can... Literally, if you're a first-time buyer, you can talk about your niche there, about the real estate side, your personal growth by helping first-time buyers learning from their experiences through the process. And then that becomes like, you know, you can create a channel on that and potentially do, use it as a lead generation tool. Right. And um, one of the other things we were, he was going around uh, getting great engagement from everyone in the room. Uh, one of the biggest hangups why people don't do more video is because they, they don't like the way they look or they don't like the way they sound. Um, so it's, it's really important to get over that stuff. Like we're in a people business. Like you mentioned, we're face to face with customers on a regular basis. They're going to see how you look. They're going to see, you know, your hair. They're going to hear your voice. So just by doing the video and getting over that uh, helps the customer get to meet you before you meet them. And it, it, it just makes them a little more comfortable on the first time that you meet. They feel like they know you a little bit better right, right off the bat. I love shooting video text to somebody I haven't met yet to say, hey, this is Todd Schroth. We're meeting at 123 Elm Street today at 3 o'clock. Just want to shoot a quick video so you know who I am, so you can put a face to the name. Look right. forward to meeting at 3 o'clock. Have a great day. And that's it. I mean, it's, what, 30 seconds. Pop the phone up. Hit, you know, we use BombBomb Bomb as our video app. I could text that link right out. And, mm -hmm. the, and the customers, that, and then that's also a precedent of that's how I'm going to communicate, putting myself out there more often. Right. Yeah, it, it, it can be so much quicker sometimes just to send a video message than to type type up a message, uh, correct all the auto-correct mistakes that your phone made, 
you know, reword it differently halfway into it because you thought of a better way to say the same thing. So sometimes it's so much easier just to send a video message um, and Facebook Live. Like I'm a person, I do a lot of video and I do a lot of recorded videos. So some of those videos require a lot of editing and it's so much more liberating to do a video live and when it's done, it's done. And so, because when you're editing a video, it's, you know, you, you have this tendency to want to make it perfect and try to remove all imperfections and start over. And, and so uh, just getting more in the habit of Facebook lives, doing live videos, uh, recording once and sending it without rewatching it. That's another thing that gets a lot of people hung up. Um, you know, those are all tips that if you can just get used to it from the beginning, it'll save you a lot of time, hours and hours of your life in the future. That's you know, all that extra time you could have done more lives. See, you know, without you could have, you could have beat Nick on his ten lives instead of nine. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could spend for me, I just got hit. Then uh, when I do some videos, I sometimes hit cancel and re and re-record. It's mostly bomb bombs, but it's if I can get live and be done with the video, and I may talk too fast or I may have said something wrong. Um, those are bloopers. People love it, and they'd rather see that than a bunch of edits because you can see the jumping when you're doing that stuff. Yeah, I mean, thing, things happen and it's human nature and um, it's it's good just to be authentic. Authenticity um, goes a long way. Veronica Figueroa posted a great post a few days ago about authenticity. Nick Krem spoke a lot about being your authentic self, not being like this polished, uh, you know, professionally shot, re-edited 12 times <laughs> person. So it's, you know, your people are going to meet your your reasonably authentic self. So, you know, be authentic. Video helps you do that. Well, it's, it's your, your real at that point. One of the other things he had left us with was, you know, you want to make sure they're interested in, in your videos. You want to, and, and who to video, you know, like, do you, do you want to get into videoing, um, video interviews? And that's going to go a long way when people see that stuff. Cause you can take that Facebook live that you did and repurpose it to your database as well. And, you know, finding your top 10 people in your sphere, doing interviews with them online, which would be your, your mortgage lenders. It would be the title companies, would be home inspectors, insurance, like what's going on in the industry. I know there's a lot of changes right now in, in all parts um, with it. So it's like doing interviews with those guys, your local school board, your mayor, what's going on in the town, uh, the commissioners, and then um, putting that out there. And then like every two weeks, market the, like the mortgage lender, for example, obviously that's the most constant change there. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing it, tag it as Orlando, tag it as Daytona, tag it as, you know, you could be in the same spots. You just, you can tag the city, right. but that way when people are searching real estate Longwood, real estate Orlando, whatever, it's going to pop up. Right. Yeah. Uh, the interview, the interview format is really powerful. It's really awesome. You know, essentially you can share audiences. So, you know, when he was talking about that, I was writing notes about, doing interviews with agents that are in other in other areas, like these areas where people are moving uh, to Florida from. Wouldn't it be great where, you know, we do we do an interview of uh, an influential agent in another part of town where those people are moving to Florida? Well, you know, it opens up referral opportunities. You're growing your own audience. They're growing their audience by exposing themselves to my audience here in Central Florida and your audience here in Central Florida. So there's so much there. So Nick did an awesome job and uh, hats off. Yeah, no, appreciate it, Nick. And that, that's, that kind of brings up another one. I, I just, I've got to do my, my agent interview this Friday and it just popped in mind who I want to have on the show. So I'm excited. I'm going to reach out to them right after, but it's like different markets where people are moving to and from. I don't know if I want to interview the agents where everyone's moving out of like New York, New Jersey, California. But, um, you know, do you think you'd be out of business eventually because you still be empty or do we want to interview them as someone who's coming this direction, you know, and how the markets uh, are there? We can strategize about that. But really, it's just, uh, hey, you know, you want to feature them for whatever reason it is. You know, they're doing something yeah. awesome in their area and you want to feature them and they're going to be excited that you're featuring them. So they're going to be sharing the uh, interview with their audience and you're going to be sharing the interview with your audience and. Hopefully you can pick up some out of town buyers and uh, they maybe they can pick up some some referrals. People who are leaving their town moving here, they can refer yeah. them out. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of back and forth. Well, cool. We've got a, a video of the event uh, we're going to post here. We're, we've got it being uploaded to YouTube right now. We'll drop the link in, which will help refresh this video. Yeah. Uh, so when you guys get that, take a look at it. It is a bit long, but it is a lot of content. 
Um, if you want to watch it in sections, cool. But Nick did an awesome job presenting. Uh, appreciate everyone dumping on today. Danny, any final words? Yep. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow oh, yeah. starting at 11 a.m., Club Wealth is doing a sales and marketing summit. So anyone that's interested, it's a free virtual event. So if you're interested in attending this uh, sales and marketing summit, uh, Club Wealth is doing it in combination with Isaiah Colton and company. He's a marketing genius. And so there's going to be 30 guest speakers. I'm going to be one of the guest speakers coming on at 3.30 p.m. But the event starts at 11 a.m. and lasts for six hours. So it's going to be packed of information, packed with information. And if you're interested in watching or just coming in and out, you can do that. And we'll share the link in the comments below. Perfect. Thank you, guys. See you Friday. Have a great week. All right. See ya. All right.